Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and welcome back to the frozen north uh, South or <clears throat> We don't really know what Oklahoma is. It's not Midwest. It's not north not south Oh, but either way we had an ice storm pass through last night We probably got a half inch of rain which was basically solid ice as you can see and I came outside started to venture out this morning and literally couldn't walk across bare dirt in my yard because it was a solid sheet of ice. So I went back in the house, found my yak tracks. I used to wear these yak tracks when I was a trooper when we'd have ice and snow days and stuff because when you're out working traffic and collisions on a busy highway and it's a solid sheet of ice and a car's coming at you and you need to run and you look like a cartoon and your legs are just going but you're not going anywhere, that's a good way to die. So yak tracks are a lifesaver on ice. So it is cold, but it's not like what we've had cold the last couple weeks. And it's really not that bad. It's like 30 degrees out here, but it was just cold enough last night for that rain to freeze, turn to freezing rain, solid sheet of ice. And uh, yeah, so we're going to check on the animals, check on everybody's water, bust ice. Like I said, we're not, we weren't down in single digit temperatures or it would have been snow. So uh, Oklahoma's known for ice storms. They're very dangerous, cause a lot of power outages and things. But, uh, eh, it's just kind of a meh day. Kids are still asleep. It's because school's canceled. All the roads are just almost, you know, too dangerous to use. And uh, so nobody's getting out unless they have to, except for the crazy idiots that get out when they don't have to, and they crash and cause a lot of problems. But we're not going to do that today. Good morning. What's up? Hmm? Larry, what are you doing in there? Are you lost, buddy? Here, watch out. I got a bust ice for the donkeys. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. I got gloves on. Your, your knuckles, you give me knuckles, it doesn't hurt now. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Hey. Water troughs are in pretty good shape when they're undercover, and it's only, uh, you know, low 30s, high 20s. Uh, Y'all finally knocked over your hay bale, huh? Everybody staying warm and dry? Barry, you've been in charge. You've been doing a good job keeping everybody safe, buddy. Princess Pepper sleeping again. Hey, Pepper. You just keep your seat, okay? I ain't trying to kick you out of your warm bed. Yeah, good girl. I won't try to pet you. You just snooze away. Okay? Hey. You know you're laying on everybody's food, right? That's supposed to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't care? All right. Y'all are going to need a new bale of hay. Real soon. Excuse me, Goose. Coming through. Oh, yeah. Their water really didn't even freeze up much last night. Isaac, chill, buddy. It's okay. I'm not bothering you. I got here and check on the uh, the assassinator, Mr. Steve. You do, you two do know that you have a much nicer place under the barn. What's up, buddy? How's Steve today? Hmm. Just chilling, chilling like a villain. You pestering fancy? I think so. All right. Is your hair frozen? Nope. No frozen hair. You're all good. So when it's uh, freezing temperatures like this, you know, for the last, what, 10 days now, maybe a little longer, you know, you've got to, every farm across the country does the same thing. Morning routine, come out, bust ice, haul water, get everybody water. Because when it's super cold, I think water is probably way, way more important than, than feed and even hay for these animals because it freezes up so fast. So you, you can't constantly coming out here a few times a day unless you've got stock tank heaters or something. But days like today, obviously it's, it's above freezing right now. We've got water dripping off the barn. The ice is melting really fast. So uh, it's not just super cold today, but the last, I don't know, last week off and on, those single digit temperature nights, and, and not getting above freezing for three or four days 
I know some people are prepared for it. A lot of places across the country deal with it for weeks and months of the winter. Here, eh, not so much. I don't mind it getting down below freezing at night, <clears throat> but when we don't get above freezing for days on end, that's no fun. So that's it as far as morning chores go. I think I'm gonna go in the house, stoke the fire, get it got, get that thing roaring in there, warm up the house a little more, have some breakfast, wait on Houston to get up. We need to go check his traps. We have, uh, we're still trapping. Um, we haven't caught any coyotes since the last time I uh, showed one to you guys. It's been since before the really cold front. So it's been a, almost two weeks now since we caught a coyote. Caught a few raccoons here and there, but not many. We're gonna pull all the traps here pretty soon, get them cleaned up, probably dye them and get them prepped and ready. Take them over to the Mill Creek place and do some coyote trapping over there because I know we've got a lot of coyotes over there. So, uh, in other news, uh, Kelsey, a lot of you guys have been asking about Houston's German short-haired puppy, his German short-haired pointer puppy, Kelsey. I haven't done a lot of video updates on her. I've been videoing a few things here and here and there in the house. She's growing like a weed, and so is her energy level. <laughs> She's a, a lot of fun. It's totally, the German short hair pointer breed is a totally new world for us. And uh, it's been fun. She's, she's aggravating, but it has been fun. So, I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. Houston's been on me about um, doing some ice fishing at the creek. It's really frozen over. We can walk all the way across it. It's, it was fairly safe yesterday. We got down below freezing again last night, so it should be plenty thick to do some ice fishing. I think the pond, I think there's some areas on the pond we could get out on safely, but I'm a little bit leery. I'm a little bit scared of it, so we may get into some of that today. I don't know for sure. Hey, now. for two did you I don't think Earl thinks so Earl's like this is mine but you grow your teeth off my raw hot chewy <laughs> Earl why do you look so angry be careful <laughs> it's because he's giving her a mean mug man he looks mad Trying to watch this game, Kelsey. Come on now. Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey, lay your down. I don't trying to watch football here. Yeah. It's raining. Great day for rain, huh? The good news is, is we're about three degrees above freezing, so the rain is not freezing rain. It's just really cold rain. the chances of actually catching much last night are very slim a lot of folks um, in, in dirt hole sets not, not, not necessarily the dog proof traps but the you know the foothold traps um, a lot of people use wax dirt they make their own wax dirt and it helps prevent traps from freezing over and stuff but when you have freezing rain and a solid sheet of ice on everything <laughs> you're gonna freeze up no matter what I feel like. 
we uh, have a pretty low chance of, of catching anything last night, but our you know, due diligence says we've got to go check all of our traps every day, no matter what. Even if it's freezing rain, huh? Yeah. Just a mud hole. Yep. It's gonna be a frozen mud hole again when it gets dark. It's kind of thawing a little bit. Actually, I don't know if it's thawing as much as just rain on top of it. Here's what I'm talking about. This little set right here, solid ice. I'm gonna end up snapping the trap off on my finger probably, but our set's just covered in ice. And even under that, you know, you're gonna be frozen dirt from the rain that fell before it froze. So probably not gonna catch anything. It's probably time to either redo all of our sets or pull them and move on and i vote we're fixing to pull them and move on yeah now i say <clears throat> think about pulling all of our sets because we're not getting any coyote action or anything except this spot this is where we caught the mangy coyote remember i've got a game camera set up over there Last night, during the freezing rain, there were two coyotes right here sniffing that set. And it was probably froze over already. The chances of catching them were slim to none. But I do like this spot because we are that's not the first time those two coyotes have been there. You remember when we caught that mangy coyote, it, uh, I thought that was the one we had been after for from December 22nd through like January 14th or whatever it was. Now I'm not so sure because there's two that have visited that spot a couple different nights and uh, they smelled the set, sniffed the set, but we haven't caught either one of them. So I'm kind of thinking after this, we get through this cold spell, I may pull those up and we'll move them somewhere about 20, 30, 40 yards, redo the whole set, use a different lure, different bait, and set the game camera up. And uh, if that's the only, you know, if we leave a couple sets right there, put a game camera on them, then we won't have to drive over here and check everything every day because we can see it with the game camera and then go ahead and move all the rest of our traps over to Mill Creek. Just a thought. Oh. Do you concur? Do you agree? What? Sound good to you? Yeah. You're just trying to stay awake, aren't you? Yeah. I'm sorry you didn't get to go to school today. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm just fine. <laughs> Still a lot of ice on the creek. Yeah. I wonder if it's slushy. Yeah. So yesterday, I was able to walk all the way across. Wasn't it yesterday, Houston? Yeah. I was able to walk all the way across, and we went over on the other bank and tootled around over there for a while. But, oh man, it is super slick with that rain on top of it now. It's like somebody went over it with a, with a slushy machine and just poured a slushy out on the creek. Dubs, baby. Creek's still frozen, huh? Yeah. Looks better than the pond did. Like loud and I thought it was the, the you thought the ice cracked under you? Yeah. This is sick. Ooh. We could definitely ice fish out here. Yeah, but I just don't know if there's any fish to catch in the creek. That's why we fish to find Oh you out. gotta find out, huh? Yeah. 
Well, the creek's definitely frozen solid. Plenty enough for, for me to get out and walk on it. I'm just kind of wondering though, are we really that mad at the fish that we got to get out here in freezing rain and bust a hole in ice and try to catch a bluegill that's that big? Yeah. We, we're that mad at them? Yeah. I guess we're that mad at the fish, Reese. Huh? You got your answer. <laughs> I don't know if we can catch anything or not. I'm just nervous walking around out here. This is so cool, just being able to walk on this. Like, like, this is just crazy. You don't get to see this very many times in your life. And you can just walk up and down a creek that leads into a really big lake. Like this Some people do it every winter, all winter long. Some people drive their pickup truck out on a lake. Like, it's like Alaska. Dude, we're in Oklahoma. This is not like usual stuff. Like, this is, this is kind of crazy, okay? I'm just saying this is Oklahoma. It's pretty cool. Many people getting mad at us because we're doing it wrong. I think that's more people mad at me for doing stuff wrong. You gonna do sneak attack and fish it from the backside or what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I can honestly say ice fishing's going about as well as I expected it to. But, we're here, and we're trying. We poked about half a dozen holes in the ice around the brush pile. And not a single bite. But, I'm able to get over to the opposite side of the creek bank where we usually don't go. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just right up, the right up the stream, right up the creek from the dam, not far at all. And uh, we've got a ton of videos of of the beavers over there and i was showing houston what these beavers do and look you know when people are trapping beavers they use a caster mound so you can see there's it's been raining it's kind of hard to tell here for you guys probably but i can see a lot of uh activity on this bank here and these beavers come up and they make what's known as a caster mound there's just a little mud ball right there and they put their caster scent that they put off on that stuff there's one right there and then on down the bank a little ways see that little caster mound right there so if we were trapping beaver this bank over here would be perfect uh it'd be a perfect place to catch beaver you can see they're chewing a few of these little green trees but yesterday we walked up that creek bank and those beavers are going up that steep bank i mean it's almost a vertical cliff and they're uh cutting down little trees and then they're, they're it's easier for them to pull them down a hill than if they were you know on flat ground but anyways i guess we're we're learning a few things we're exploring a few things and there's getting to be a lot of water on top of the ice houston yep it'll freeze up again but i don't think we're gonna catch anything no i don't either well i'm having fun still Are you? i mean we could go give it a shot over by the dam by the waterfall but I think the otters have pretty much cleaned us out, period. Yeah, I'm still having fun though. Don't mind. Me. Kinda think maybe we should stick to doing summer things in the summer and winter things in the winter. I just, I just think that's probably the best idea. But what do I know? I'm the one down here at the creek fishing in the ice. I slid in. And I wasn't recording. No. 
Hey, here's some. Why is all that ice broke right there? I was right here and it slipped and it like started it off the spot. Uh huh. Oh, look, there's some ducks. No. Oh, I don't have a uh, bait. Oh, that's too bad. Might as well go ahead and go. You lost your worm. Grab those worms. So, uh, polar plunge, did you? Not that bad. Not that bad, huh? Woo! -hoo -hoo. All right, time to go to the house. Houston's uh, soaking wet from the waist down because he went for a little uh, adventure in the creek. It actually felt good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you want to know the good news? I don't know. Sure. I've got a big fire built in the house, and it'll be nice and warm when you get in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No fish were caught. No. no fish were harmed in the making of this video. I still had fun, though. Well, y'all, I think that's about as far as I'm going to make it today. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little bit under the weather. Nothing bad. It, it's been like down in my chest, but then, you know, like bronchitis type coughing crud that's going around. But then today it's been like allergies and my nose is running. Anyway, it's probably not the best idea to be outside in freezing rain all day. So, I think I'm going to go in the house, make me a cup of coffee and sit down and fight with a puppy. <laughs> Uh, Kelsey is a mess. That little, that little German short, short hair pointer is a handful, but uh, oh well. Still a good day. I know not a lot was accomplished. Didn't catch any fish. Didn't catch any coyotes. But it's just everyday life on the farm, and sometimes I feel like you guys just want to come along for the adventure, and today's adventure was just a cold, dreary, drizzly, wet one. So, anyways, guys, do something today to make somebody smile, because you never know, it just might change the world. Guys, thanks for watching. It's cold. I'm going to go in the house. We'll see you on the next video.